Hey y'all, thanks for joining me today. As you can tell, I have somebody with me. This is my daughter, she is home from school today. So, I roped her into helping me. I have over $500 in sales to pack up, 15 items from Poshmark and eBay, and let's see what's sold. So, we are gonna start out with, hmm, let's start out with these. So, this is a pair of, on running sneakers, new in box. They were a women's size. They sold on Poshmark for how much? $64. $64. And what was the fee? $12.80. $12.80. Okay. She can't read my hand right. <laughs> $12.80. And there was a shipping discount of $2. $2.02. Two. Okay. And so the total is at the bottom there. $24.18. That's what I made on these on running shoes. Which, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot, but you know, I did a sale for President's Day sale, and hey, something going out the door. So there we are. So these do sell on Poshmark. Um, I could use a priority um, packaging, but it's they're in the box, so I have just a poly mailer over the box that way. Um, let me. Sorry, we're shipping from a different location <laughs> today. Our table went missing, so we're doing this. So I do have my little thank you stickers. You can find them on Wish. Timu, anything like that. Um, Etsy. Etsy, yes. And then I do have my business stamp. I've showed y'all before. If you've watched this channel, um, I put those on there too. So those are going to Kathy in Kentucky. Thank you. All right. Next up. So if you've been watching, you know the saga of these cups, right? <laughs> so I bought a whole sleeve of these cups. They are the Post Malone Canes Collector Cups. Canes is a chicken finger restaurant. Um, I know it's here in Texas. It's in the South. I know. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but I've been selling them in twos. I bought a whole sleeve of them for um, putting goodies in for my son's birthday party as the little goodie bag. They think he's just cool. So um, I've been trying to sell off what was left. There was 19 total. I have, I used what, six for the party. I've sold six, so I have just a few left, but um, I sold some previously on eBay. I think they went to London, somewhere in that area, but these sold on where? Poshmark. Poshmark. For $11. $11. So to get the most out of them, I didn't want to sell them individually, so I was selling them in groups of two. So I was like, well, let's just give it a whirl. So to ship these out, I'm going to use the... USPS shoebox, but I'm gonna cut it down a bit. Um, it's way too big. Yeah, they didn't fit in the square box, and I don't dare put them in like a padded flat rate just because of um, just the potential of crushing them. Where are they going to? <coughs> Look on the other side. Oh, the other side. Okay, yeah. they're going to the shooter Dorsey in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. So they have to go a ways from Texas. So. I want them to be protected, even though they are plastic. They can still break. You are right. Oh, I'm gonna move it a little bit more. So, um, do a little modification here. I don't know if y'all have ever done this or built your own boxes for things, but as a reseller, you you get kind of creative in what you can do with a box for sure. Sometimes I go in to drop my mail off the USPS and they're like, give you a little bit of a funny look sometimes, but I'm like, hey, it works. <laughs> All right, so these sold on Poshmark for how much? $11. $11. And what was the fee? The fee is two, $2.20. $2 oh. So it's $2.95 actually, that was my mistake. And then shipping discount, so they got these for a really good deal. <laughs> it's 
Shipping discount of 202. So, how much did I make on these? Uh, 678. 678. So, not the biggest profit, but definitely lunch money, right? Right. So, I bought them for at the thrift, of course, for my son's birthday. Had a few extra and I'm making some money off of it. So, not the prettiest box in the world, but it's doing the job and that's what we need to do. So, if you want to stick that guy on there, and we'll get these others on here. You can see the little rectangle there to shoot for. There we go. Another one there. Okay. We are making progress. So, next up, we will do this lovely coach bangle here. It's a gold tone has the signature C around it. it. says coach on the little side there. I know it's hard to see. I apologize. The what? I, I said I need to see if I can see it. Yeah, probably stand up's best. <laughs> so I do have this Premier Designs box. I know it's not coach, but hey, it's what I got, so it's what I'm using. I'm gonna box it in this and then put it in a USPS padded flat rate because it's sold on Poshmark, so I can use that. So what did it sell for, darling? Uh, $20. $20. So I bought this at, I believe, a um, like one of those little junk antique stores. And I bought it thinking, oh, this will sell really well. This was in the beginning of my journey. And meh, it hasn't been that great. <laughs> it sat for a while. So glad to see it go. I think, again, this was on that sale that it sold. So... Um, sold for 20 What was the fee? Uh, four. And it cost a good? It was four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. So I made eleven seventy. Eleven seventy-five. So pretty good. I'm gonna sticker that one up there. And where's this one going? McKinney, McKinney, Texas. Staying in Texas. Yes. So McKinney, Texas. To uh, Thomas Hall. It says Thomas, but I bet Thomas is probably buying it for his special lady. <laughs> or maybe he's buying it to resell. I don't know. But either way, it's another thing out of my house. So, all right, we will go to this here. This is the brand called Oh My Gauze. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I first heard about this brand from another reseller. I never heard of it. And they're like, yeah, it sells really well. So, I picked it up. I thought it was really cute. Little top here. All right, so this sold for $23 on Poshmark. $23 on Poshmark. The fee is four, four, six, or four, four, sixty. Four, six, oh, four, six, sixty, yeah. And then the cost of goods is four, forty seven. And shipping discount of 202, so I made. Eleven ninety one. Eleven ninety one. A little t shirt. So you know it's not gonna break any records, but it pays the bills. So we'll take it. And again, that was Poshmark, so it's going in the padded flat rate. And it is going to Portland, Missouri. I know some people do the cutesy little um, like U.S. map, and they've sold to every you know every state and stuff. And so mm -hmm. I have not done that, but I would like to see where it's going. That's always fun. It's going to Kathy Benson. Kathy, Miss Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Making a pile there? over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Let's do that dress. This is a beautiful dress. This is. A free people dress. It's called the Monday dress. It's striped. It's a very low cut front. It'll be great for spring and summer. Yes, yes, yes. Lightweight, gorgeous. Looks almost kind of peasant, cottage core type look to it, but I like it. Very, very cute. Okay, so tell us the details on this one. It's sold on eBay for $46.70. And so that's the sales price plus shipping. I charge shipping on all of my eBay items. The fee was $6.93. Okay. 
The shipping was six sixty, and the cost of goods was nine ninety eight. So a little bit higher cost of goods than I normally have, but that day I cut some really good stuff and paid <coughs> up a bit. So what did I make on this dress? You made twenty three dollars and sixty three cents. Twenty three sixty three. So count that as a win for sure. Free people dresses seem to sell better than their just normal tops. So I've had their skirts sell really well too. They're usually a little more um, to them than, than normal. So all right, just stick it here. LaGrange, California, Miss Shelley. Shelley Bears by Bears. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's do um, let's do this one. Okay. So this is a Howler Brothers. I'll show you this tag here for the show. Howler Brothers, if you don't know, is a good men's brand. They make these kind of I wouldn't say lounge, but more of a casual summer coastal type line of clothing. Um, this is just a beige men's lightweight hoodie. It reminds me of the Columbia PFG. It has this really cool pocket in the back. Um, this one did have a couple of small uh, pulls in the fabric, so I did price it for less, mm -hmm. but I knew it would sell. This brand sells pretty quick. This was listed less than a week, so. So you made $25, or you sold it for $25 on Poshmark. Mm-hmm. And the fee is $5. Your cost of good is $8.04, and you made $11.96, or $11.96. $11.96 on this sweater. So, again, not going to break any records, but that's paying the bills money, so. And I am kind of at a at a stage where I'm willing to accept a few more offers than normal, so that's all right too. It's going to Anthony Camblin in Canada, Iguari, New York. <laughs> Can yeah, Canada, Canada, Guai, New York. That's a, that's a new one. I don't think I've ever shipped there before. I ship to New York a lot, but I don't know about that town. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do that one. We'll just push the trash. Don't throw that away. Okay, so this is a lovely, lovely, oh, I love it. This is such an art teacher type piece. I think this is very cute. It's a Stella Kraski, size large. It's a black wool Top. It has a slanted zip. It has a cow neck. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so this jacket, I guess you call it jacket, not sweater. Tell us the details, my dear. Uh, it sold on Poshmark for $40. The fee was $8. Your cost of goods were $9.98. And then the shipping ship discount is $2.02. So I made $20. $20. <laughs> Should have made more. Should have made more. But we are going into springtime, summertime. So jackets, sweaters, they need to move. So I was happy with $20 on this. Getting it going. So this is going to Mary McWilliams in Ellicott City. Maryland. Maryland. She's learning the abbreviations for the state. <laughs> put that on here before I put this in. It'll be a lot better that way. So I hope y'all's sales are going good. It's a great sales weekend for me. Whoop. Come on. Get in. Just moving all that to the trash real quick. Sometimes I feel like I'm stuffing stuff in packaging. Kind of like at Thanksgiving when you're trying to put jeans on. <laughs> so I feel like. Uh, 
We've all been there. Don't judge. We've all been there. Pressure. Oh, she says she hasn't. Just wait. I'm just waiting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll do some bracelets next. So, I am not really a jewelry seller, but this has been profitable for me lately. So, these bracelets, I, I did a small jewelry haul, and um, I came across some really nice jewelry at the thrift. All the other stuff was a little bit dry, the normal shoes, clothes, handbags, that kind of thing. And so, I went through the jewelry. And I found a lot that can be sold for a lot. So these are really nice. They're called Buddha Girl. They're kind of a, a flexible, thick plastic. Um, this is supposed to be a set of three, from what I understand, um, like gold, silver, bronze. And this is just the silver and bronze. So one is missing even. I didn't realize it when I bought it, but still sold. What did it sell for, darling? It sold on eBay for $45.85. The fee was $7.64. The shipping was $4.31. And the cost of goods was $2.71. So total made is $31.19. So $31.19 for a couple of bracelets I paid two bucks for. So And there's only two. And there's one missing. Yeah, so never pass the jewelry. I mean, you don't have to be into the 24 karat gold and sterling silver. I mean, this has none of that and it still is a $30 money maker. So So definitely still worth the pickup for sure. It's gonna go to Cheryl Rowe in Victoria, Texas. So another one's staying in Texas. Um, let's do this one. So this is by the brand Emmanuel Angaro. So a lot of Emmanuel Angaro's um, <coughs> clothes, the more eccentric, the more it will sell for. So this is just a plain black silk. So I picked it up because it's silk. The silk is flawless. It's just a button-up short sleeve top with a pocket. You can see it there. Has a like tank to go underneath that came with it. It was a big size, size 10. So this had a lot of attention. A lot of attention. But again, needed to move it. So what did it sell for? Um, it sold on eBay for $35.85. The fee was $5.44. Shipping was four thirty one, and the cost of goods was six six dollars and twenty five cents. So the total is eighteen dollars and seventeen cents. So again, should have sold for more, but it's moving out. So, and I knew that it wasn't going to be a great big money maker, being that it's not one of his more colorful designs. Let's say so, but that's okay. So this is it's going, going to Joanna Cough in Austin, Texas. Yes. So that's, that's the capital. <laughs> that is the capital. Like they're on a field trip last year. That was fun. That was fun. Most people think Dallas is the capital of Texas, but no. Dallas is no. very big though. Dallas is big. I don't like to go there. <laughs> You use a lot of stickers. We do use a lot. These are all the thank you stickers. <laughs> okay, so here is another Howler Brothers top. So this one is a, this one is extra large. So the beige one was a large. This one's extra large. They were together at the store. This one is flawless though. Um, so same thing, just top different top. color. I think they're called the loggerhead top. It's got the little zip pocket in the back, kangaroo pocket in the front, the hood. and the hood, yep, drawstring hood. So what did this sell for, darling? Sold on eBay for $40.90. For $40 the fee was $6.23. Shipping was $4.38. And the cost of goods was 8 dollars 
So the total is $22.25. $22.25. So very good. Uh, definitely worth the pickup. Mm -hmm. Great brand. So if you see it out and about, pick it up. Definitely. So there you go. And this one is going to James in Rogers, Arizona. Arkansas. Oh, Arkansas. <laughs> Arizona's A Z. Okay. A Z. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. This is how we learn. Okay. Cute little thank you stickers. Those are little cute. hearts. Um. Okay. Let's do the glasses next. So again, sometimes when the um. The normal stuff, clothes, shoes, handbags, normally when that stuff is dry at the thrift and you're not finding anything there, reach out. Some people are just stuck. I'm, I only sell shoes. I only sell handbags. Well, when you have bills to pay, you find stuff to sell no matter where it's at. So this is a pair of Oakley frames here. Trying to get it if you can see them. They are prescription. But don't use that word on eBay. Mm -mm, it will get you in trouble. So I had to say corrective lenses, um, frames only, is what I'm selling them for. So um, it comes with the little bag too. Okay. <laughs> so I actually found this separately. This was a few weeks later it at is a different store, but it is Oakley, so I am tossing it in with it. Um, so yeah, so frames are great. I have found Ray Ban. I have found Miu Miu. I have found. Oakley, I have found Silhouette. Those are the really lightweight frames. Mine are Michael Kors. <laughs> People look for frames. Frames are expensive. If you buy glasses, mm -hmm. especially if you are on Medicaid and or Medicare and they don't pay for a lot or any of your glasses or if you are uninsured, glasses are expensive. So look for those definitely. So we are going to do a little bit of, <laughs> yes, I do need that. We're going to do a little of extra packaging. So they're in the soft case, which I'm going to put some foam around that. And then we're going to foam and we're going to put them in a box. And then we're going to put that box in more foam. And then this big party. We are going to recycle. Oh, it says that is We are going to recycle this padded mailer from Amazon. I know we all have a bunch of these, and I love to recycle them. So, I'm going to put a little bit of tape on here. Yes, we do get a lot. Don't judge. <laughs> Don't judge. Amazon has everything. It's, it's good. It's like Walmart. <laughs> but it comes, well, Walmart comes to your door now too sometimes. <laughs> so, we mm -hmm. packed that really well. That's a big package for the glasses. Yeah, well, they gotta be protected, love. Definitely gotta protect them. So, tape this up. Sorry, I try not to tape. I try not to tape too much on camera because I know it is loud. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, especially you offer on something. See. Filming luck. <laughs> and you offer on something. Okay, so what do we got, darling? We sold on eBay for $36.05. That is sales price plus shipping. Mm -hmm. The fee was $5.50. The shipping was $4.55. The cost of goods was five forty two. And then the um, what she made was twenty dollars and fifty eight cents. Twenty bucks. That's twenty bucks I would not okay. have if I would not have branched out and gone to other <coughs> categories in the thrift store. So always just take a peek, especially if you're not finding stuff in your normal section. Take a peek elsewhere. Look at scarves. I have found Chanel and Fendi. She was with me when I did. Mm -hmm. I mean swimsuits. Brand new with tag swimsuits this time of year. Always pick them up. Always pick them up. But they definitely sell this time of year, especially. So, let's get that stickered up. Okay, let's put it this way. Oh. 
This is going to Oberyn Wall in New York City, New York. New York, New York. All right. <laughs> that was funny. Love it. Are those things on something? Do they look like? Yes, they say love on them. Because it's like for Valentine's Day, <laughs> they say love on them. Yes. Because that's my favorite color. Purple is my favorite. Okay. Um. Yes, I'm going to need to, we'll talk about these. I'm going to need to package them a little bit differently. But, um, okay, so these are some gorgeous. I bought these for personal use. I wore them a couple times. They hurt my feet. <laughs> I have really fat feet, and I don't wear heels very often. So they sat and sat, and I wore them maybe twice, but they are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at these heels. The heels look like the British flag, kind of. <laughs> are like the they? Sides. They're wooden. Look at that like design, and these are from Fry. So they're a black suede peep toe mule. <laughs> is that ASMR? Yes. <laughs> um, they are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, tell us the details. So they sold on eBay again for um, forty six forty. The fee was. 1063. Okay, that fee seems high because that was for my promoted listing. So I had these promoted. Um, so, what else? Uh, oh, sh what's that? Ch oh, okay, <laughs> shipping is 852. The cost of goods is $20. And you made 725. So I made 725. So that's not a lot. But again, I bought these for personal. I wore them a couple times. Now I'm selling them. So, I'll take seven bucks. I got to wear them. They were cute. <coughs> Try them out. They are cute. And I passed them along for a great did you, buy. Did so, you wear them at a Christmas party? Probably a Christmas party. I don't really remember. But I'm going to package those up with a little more tissue paper and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot to grab that. But, okay. Next oh, step. These, these are going to Kathy Hood in four. Tuliton, Oregon. The, the, <laughs> okay, so these, let me story time on these. These were from the bins, the Goodwill bins. If you've ever been, she's been. <laughs> Goodwill bins. It's the Goodwill outlet. It's where you pay by the pound. Um, and then ours, I think it's still $1.89 a pound. I haven't been in a little while. Planning to go this next week. Stay tuned for that. But, um, I got these there. These are Vionic. Vionic is a good bread and butter brand. These are slippers though, so it was kind of a gamble. Um, I took them, brought them home, and washed them, but they still have, it looks like it's kind of a white. It almost yeah, looks like a white. foot powder, but I think it's just wear it's on just the fabric. Inside, but... Yeah, it's fabric, but they are adjustable on the sides and the bottoms looked great. So I thought, well, okay, I'll get them. So they have sat for a bit. So part of the sale, I let them go for? $14 on Poshmark. The fee was $2.95 and the cost of good goods was $3.88. So no shipping discount on these. So I made? $7.17. 717. So, not the best pickup. So, lesson learned Bionic slippers do not sell for very much. So, it's just Bionic is hit and miss. I try to stick to leather, I try to stick to bigger sizes with Bionic, um, you know, things like that. Um, gosh, Fox, why aren't you cooperating? So, yes, I cut the shoe box down when it's a smaller size just to help it. I don't know. In my mind, it helps it fit in the mailbox better. <laughs> don't know if it truly does or not, but eh, there you go. So, this is going to Eva Gillis in, in Spring Hill, Florida. Florida. Slippers going to Florida. Who knew? <laughs> We have been to Florida. Disney, Disney. Comment below if you've been to Disney. 
What was your favorite ride? Okay. So, these cutie pies. <laughs> Vanna White. She wouldn't even know who Vanna White is. Prices are right? No. <laughs> they like show up the cars. <laughs> so, these are some Sass San Antonio Shoe Company. Little denim look. Little comfort sneakers, so they're super duper cute. So I just listed these, in fact, and they are like brand new. I mean, she maybe wore these outside twice. Like yeah, they are the store, super warm. But yeah, they look yeah, super cute. So these are going to be great for spring and summer. <coughs> they are six and a half, so they're a little bit smaller size, but with the condition, I was like, well, yeah. So. Give us the details on these. They sold in Poshmark for $44. $44 for some little cutie shoes. <laughs> the fee was $8 or $8.80. Mm -hmm. And then the cost of goods was $2.02. And she, yeah, okay. She made uh, $28.72. $28 on these little shoes. So these shoes, new, are about $100. I know it's hard to believe, but Sass is a great brand. They make a lot of comfort shoes for people with foot problems or more mature people, but they also make kind of a unique sizing in shoes. They do a lot of narrow, extra narrow, extra wide, you know, some that have need a higher heel on the left or the right. They, they, they really do a lot of those specialty sizes. So. Where's this going? This is going to Vicky Juan in El Monte, California. Okay. Careful, there's a ridge on this box here. Let me help you out there. Okay. Let me put that one on. Next. All right. We are down to our last item. So. <laughs> okay. It's starting to go all over. Okay, last item. If you watched recently, you will recognize this item. This is Hugo Boss men's penny loafers. So these came in America's Thrift Supply shoe and heel box that I opened. These did super well. They're a ten and a half. They are ooh, a real, yeah, real leather upper, so they're real leather. Again, I knew they would sell well. So, what's the details on these? They sold on Poshmark for forty dollars. The, the fee was eight dollars. Cost of goods was four dollars and twenty five cents. Four dollars and twenty five cents for a pair of shoes. My Goodwill is double that. If more than double, actually, it's eight ninety nine. So. Fabulous buy from America's Thrift Supply. And then she made $27.75. $27.75. That about paid for the whole box from America's Thrift Supply. Ten pairs in that box with just one sale here. So, those boxes are great. I am not sponsored in any way. Wish I was, but I'm not. So, um, so ask to be sponsored. Well, maybe. So... Um, you know, you just never know. You never know what's going to sell. I mean, I hate to pigeonhole myself into, I only sell shoes, I only sell women's, I only sell men's. I hate to do that because there's stuff that will sell in all categories. So, I know some people preach that, niche down, but, you know, sometimes you got to pay the bills and that's a little more So, this is going to pressing. Michelle Fowler. In Temecula, California. Temecula. Oh, Temecula. <laughs> Some of these last names are hard to They are. Okay. So that wraps it up for us today. I want to thank my assistant here. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. So tune in, subscribe, and uh, your sales are great. Bye, y'all.